name is Bruce Shady, and today I'd like to show you a simple toy I designed a number of years ago called a string racer. Now these things are easy to build, they can be a lot of fun, and they can also demonstrate various science concepts that we have in our classroom. So all I have to do is wind up the rubber band that's inside, and I'm going to attach it to this holder that's on this long string. And we simply let it go. So let's take a closer look. Now I've tried a couple different sizes. This is the smallest one, so let's go try this one. And here's the largest one I've built. This one I have to be careful of. If I catch my fingers in that blade, this one can hurt. <laughs> now this is my favorite size. This is the ones that I had students build, so let's go try this. Now, let's take a look and see how to build these. Now, here's the pattern for the body. It's made on heavy stock paper. And here's the pattern for the fins. This is a set of three. Now, let's start by cutting out one of those sections for the fins. Uh, it's got a series of dotted lines on it. Those dotted lines represent folds. And they will fold and put them together. And eventually it's going to look like this. Now I've glued this one together just to hold it in place. Now let's make the body. The three lines on here are then cut with the scissors. I'm going to take those fins and stick them through one at a time. There we go. There's one. And the second one. There we go. And get the third one through. Now that I have all three of them through, straighten them out. Now I'm going to roll this up, and this is going to form the body. I can either tape this, or better yet, glue it. And when it's glued and held together, it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to take some scissors and cut the fins so that they have an angle on it, just to make it look nicer. There we go. And three. Now let's start to make the propeller assembly. Uh, I'm going to unbend this paper clip about halfway, and then I want to cut a piece of it off. There we go. And I'm going to take the pliers and bend over uh, a small piece of it, and this is going to catch on the front end of the propeller. Now we'll put the propeller on the wire, twist it through, and the next thing I want to add is a small bead. That's just going to keep the propeller away from the cap itself as a spacer and there's a hole in the cap and let's stick the wire through. Now at the other end of the wire we're simply going to bend it over and that's going to catch the rubber bands. Now to power these we're going to use either six or eight rubber bands. We're going to tie them together into groups of two. There's one and I have three more sets here. And we're going to attach them to a paper clip that has a string attached to the one end. The other end goes to the propeller assembly. And I'm going to feed this through that tube using the long string. There we go. Now I simply pull on the string and that's going to stretch the rubber bands inside the tube. Now I'm simply going to take that paper clip and hook it on the bottom end of the tube. There we go. Now the last step is to make the holder. We're going to take a wire and bend it with small bends at the top which fit onto the straw, like this. And the larger bends at the bottom are going to hold the racer. And this straw would be mounted onto the string and then it would be ready to go. Alright, now I think we're ready for its maiden voyage. Put it on the straw, release it, and off it goes. Now if we want to measure the speed, we measure off a distance and time it That was about 10 miles an hour. Now about how far do these things go?
Our best distance has been about 85 feet. 